What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general type of reading for sign of Pisces. This can resonate if you have Pisces and any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Fourth, Open, Hate, Which is your chart. Stuff gets basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective, collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 5 The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. And also, um, I'm open for personal readings. If anybody's interested, the uh, information, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Um, if you're interested in booking, you have to text me to book. And you do not pay until uh, we agree upon it as uh uh, an appointment time, okay? Um, it's through PayPal, and you don't pay until I contact you 15 minutes prior to the appointment time. Just let everybody know, okay? That's how I've been doing it, and it's been working very well. I do it through Google Duo, just to let everybody know, okay? Um, this can resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects to your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hand, Jupiter charts. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hand, Red, Jupiter charts for additional message or messages. If they do apply to you, and thanks for all the new subscribers. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys um, for all the love and support. Okay, so um, I received a channel message as I was meditating on your energy for the sign of Pisces. So I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, crap. I forgot it. Hold on. Uh, I forgot it. Give me a second. I'm sorry, y'all. Give me a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Okay. I heard a um, Halloween party um, plans are about to go in shambles, up in shambles. That's what I heard. Yeah. A Halloween party's plans are about to go up in huge shambles. So, energies can be reversed. So, I, whatever side of this Halloween party that's about to go up in shambles you're on, Pisces, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But, Somebody's Halloween party plans, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to, their Halloween party plans are about to basically glow, go up in flames, like dumpster fire energy, like huge ass dumpster fire energy, if that resonates for you. Now, energy to be reversed, so it could be you the one planning this uh, Halloween party or helping plan this Halloween party, or you could be one of the ones about to be invited to this Halloween party. Holy crap. Yeah, I think somebody's emotional over this Halloween party about to go up in shambles, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Cars just flew all the floor. So, and I'm just being for real. You can't make this crap up even if you wanted to. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. I feel for some, you could be invited to this Halloween party that's about to go up in shambles. The plans are about to go up in shambles. Or, um, uh, you could be one of the ones planning it or helping plan it. However that resonates and applies. Spirit messages you have a sign of Pisces. I've been picking up very strong Halloween party vibes today for some reason. Oh my god, double confirmation, man. That's the second time that's happened. Look at this crap. And they're on the floor. I think one of you guys is emotional over this or about to be emotional or somebody's emotional. Somebody else is emotional over it. Why do I I mean, man, we're September 8th. Somebody is really, they either love Halloween or they were, I don't know. Dude, we're not even in October yet. I'm just saying Holy, and that's double confirmation. Somebody's emotional over this shit, or about to be. Whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Spirit messages you have a sign of Pisces. It's about to be a huge ass dumpster fire. Huge. Oh my God, that's double confirmation. I heard it's about to be a huge ass dumpster fire. Through many series of chain of events. Through many series of chain of events. So it's about to be a huge ass dumpster fire through many series of chain of events. Mountain Road, you're on the road to success. 
Feral, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. Well, it's not, uh, I'm telling you, the road to success is not this Halloween party. I'm just being for real. Whoever this is for, and I'm just being for real. Y'all know I keep it real on here. Dagger, fear, worries, ten situations. I think it's the same Halloween party. Why I'm picking it up so strong, I have no idea. Holy crap, Pisces. For some, you can be dealing with the Earth sign or Fire sign. If you are, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. If you are, heavy Earth sign, Fire sign, Energy, and your Animal Spirit cards. If you are dealing with the Fire sign or Earth sign, you plug it in how it resonates. Transmutation, number 29, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 29, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Or any other significant number, number 29, transmutation. <clears throat> Raccoon. For one, you have a Virgo sneaky link and they are about to have huge chaos in their life. It's about to shock the hell out of you. But it shouldn't shock you because they they always have chaos in their life. They welcome it. Oh my God, whoa. So Virgo sneaky link energy. I've been picking up heavy sneaky link energy in these readings this round. And I'm just being for real. So heavy Virgo sneaky link energy, if this resonates for you, whoever you are, Pisces, you have a Virgo sneaky link situationship, behind the scenes secret sexual relationship basically that's a sneaky link um energy basically um it's sneaky it's sexual and it's not like public basically uh, but whoever at least one of you guys pisces in the universe masculine or feminine pisces you have a virgo masculine sneaky link and i heard this person is about to have huge chaos in their life but it shouldn't i heard it's going to shock you but it shouldn't because this person basically welcomes the chaos um so they they like chaos for some, they could create it, but they're about to have huge chaos in their life. For some reason, it's about to shock you, but I heard it shouldn't. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is your Virgo sneaky link. You're very heavily sexually connected to them. I think for some, your little rendezvous are at night, and I'm just being for real, for real, because raccoons are nocturnal, and this is your Virgo sneaky link. For one, a Scorpio partner is about to intervene in this. They are sick of the shit. For one, a Virgo partner, I'm, I'm sorry, a Scorpio partner is about to intervene in this. They're sick of the shit. So for one of you guys, you have a Scorpio partner. A Scorpio masculine partner. Okay, you have a Scorpio masculine partner. That could be a committed partner, girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, or a married partner. But I heard they're about to intervene because they're sick of the shit. So I think they're about to either break up you and your third party Virgo masculine sneaky link or... Threaten to leave your ass or what have you, what have you. I don't know. But somehow at least one of you guys, because there's two situations in here. For one, um, you have a, a Scorpio partner, Scorpio masculine partner in some shape, form, or fashion. Uh, one of you guys' Scorpio masculine partner is about to break this shit up. They don't like you being sexually connected to this Virgo masculine. Uh, and they're about to break the shit up. And I really do feel you go over at night or they come over at night or something of that nature. It is definitely at night. It is definitely at night. That's confirmation. It's definitely at night. I kind of intuitively felt it, but that's confirmation from the spiritual realm. It's definitely at night. You sneak over there. They sneak over here. Somehow somebody sneaks somewhere at night. And you do it at night, sexually, with this Virgo. Whoever you are, Pisces. You can be a masculine or feminine Pisces. Holy shit. And for one, you have a Scorpio masculine partner. And that's just being for real, for real. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy shit. Dragon. Uh, 
A Pisces feminine, very, very much un underestimated a Leo feminine, very much. They're about to ever regret underestimating a Leo feminine. Okay, a Pisces feminine underestimated a Leo femme. So if this resonates for you, you're a Pisces femme. You could have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hand, or Jupiter charts. I heard you very much underestimated a Leo femme. So whoever this Leo femme is to you and however they resonate in your life, Pisces, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, but you highly underestimated her. So you thought, you didn't think highly of her, basically. You thought she was crap, possibly, or you didn't think she was worth anything, or you underestimated her in some shape, form, or fashion. Only you know how you thought or think of this Leo feminine. But I tell you one thing, you definitely highly underestimated her. Um, I heard you're about to seriously regret it through many series of chain of events. So however you underestimated her and how that resonates, Pisces feminine. You could have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter charts. This is your Leo femme. Um, she's coming in as the dragon energy. Um, she's very highly intuitive, very intellectual, and you have talked her into the ground, and it's about to backfire on your ass in a huge way. Okay, I heard she's highly intuitive. She's very intellectual, so she's very smart, and she's very highly intuitive. And basically, you have talked her very publicly. Very publicly. And you have talked her into the ground very publicly. Um, and it's about to backfire on you. So whoever this Leo femme is to you, Pisces femme. Only you know that, not anybody else. But whoever she is to you, you have basically probably defamed her character, possibly, if it's professionally. For some, it could be professionally. For some, it could be personally. I'm not sure. But her, she's very smart and she's very intuitive. And basically, you have talked her ass into the ground like the gossip train, very publicly, and it's about to backfire on your ass in a huge way. This is your Leo femme. I think she takes on strong fire, or she has lots of desire, drive, and motivation. She's coming in her own energy, dragon energy. You plug it in how it resonates, Pisces femme. Only you know your story and situation, not anybody else, ma'am. Mountain Road, you're on the road to success. Locating a new home soon. Relocation bonus. Locating a new home soon and relocation bonus is what I just heard. So locating a new home soon. So one of you guys... Um, you are locating a new home. Congratulations to whoever that's for. Um, mask, mask or Femme Pisces. Um, I think you're looking for a new home for you or somebody you're connected to, and you're about to find a home. Congratulations. You're on the road to success to locating a new home. Uh, I, feel, I heard relocation bonus. So I feel for some, you're about to get offered a relocation bonus um, or a relocation. Yeah, a relocation bonus. Um, and I feel for some, you're obviously in the workforce uh, and you're about to transfer within your company because relocation bonus, we can either get it as a new employee or you can get it within your company if you're transferring out of state or location. So some kind of relocation bonus, whether you're new to this company or you've been in this company a while. And for some, I feel the location of the new home is out of state or out of country or something of that nature. Is what I'm feeling. Um, how that resonates and applies, Pisces. For some, if you are business owner or owners, um, I just think you're about to have success um, in finding a new home, either a new to you home or a new 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 home. How that resonates and applies, heavy home energy here. Um, congratulations to whoever that's for. Um, that's really beautiful energy. Whoever that is for. A business owner, Pisces, your business is about to increase in a huge way. A business owner, Pisces, um, your business is about to increase in a huge way. Tennessee is significant. Florida is significant. Texas is significant. And California is significant. 
Tennessee, Florida, Texas, and California is significant. Uh, Tennessee, Florida, uh, Tennessee, Florida, California, and Texas. Tennessee, Florida, California, and Senate. Tennessee, California, Florida, and Texas is very significant. So I feel you probably live in Tennessee, Florida, California, or Texas is what I feel. Um, or your business is located in Tennessee, Florida, California, or Texas. How that resonates and applies, Pisces. Um, her, your business owner, so either a sole proprietorship or LLC, how that resonates and applies. And I heard Tennessee, California, Florida, and Texas is very significant. So I feel you either reside in these states or your business is located in these states or businesses is located in these states. Tennessee, Florida, California, Texas. You plug it in, how it resonates. Business is about to increase in a huge way. I think they're located in these states or you have a business or businesses in these states or you're about to put a new business in these states. How that resonates and applies. Heavy business owner energy here. If that resonates and applies for you, that's really beautiful. Congratulations to whoever that's for. Feral, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. <clears throat> a legally married husband is about to try crawling back to a Pisces. He has betrayed you in a huge way. It'd be smart to stand up to him. You really have deep affection for him, but he has cheated on you. Oh, my Lord. You are not polygamy. You are not polygamous. Okay, if this resonates for you, you're not polygamous. That's very specific in here. You're not polygamous, so you don't believe in sneaky links or third parties or situationships or, or having multiple partners in the relationship. Um, maybe he wants multiple partners in the relationship because there's a reason I heard he... Um, you're not into polygamy. So I don't, maybe he wants multiple partners in your relationship or he's tried and attempted to, to do that. How that resonates applies, Pisces. But I feel you're very high vibrational and he's going to try crawling back to you. So, and you're legally married if this resonates for you. He's going to try crawling back. I think you've already exposed his ass for cheating is what I think. Because um, I heard he's been cheating, but I think you know this. I think you've already exposed him is what I feel. Um, there's a reason he's going to try to crawl, come crawling back. And I think it's because you've exposed his ass or somebody else has. Um, I heard it wouldn't be smart. It'd be smart to stand up to him. I heard you have deep affection and caring for him. But if he once a, usually once a cheater, always a cheater. If anybody needs to hear that. Usually once a cheater, always a cheater. And that's just the damn truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Of course, you have free will to allow him back if you want to. But he's already, if this resonates for you, he's already done it once. So who's to say he's not going to do it again? And you don't want to decrease your self-worth and value by allowing him back and him thinking, oh, well, she allowed me back this time. Maybe I can hide it better next time. If anybody needs to hear that, okay? Of course, you have free will to allow him back if you want. You're a legally married Pisces femme, if that resonates for you. Um, of course, you have free will to allow him back if you want. But um, I feel for some, he wants polygamy in your relationship. There's a reason I heard it, something about polygamy, so... You plug it in, how it resonates. I'm not into the polygamous lifestyle at all, at all, at all. Never have been, never will be. I don't judge people that are, but that's not for me. But um, I'm not you guys. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Dag dagger, fear, worries, 10 situations. Very significant child abuse report is about to become very significant in Pisces life. For one, you're a social worker about to get the a report made on you. For one, you're a social worker about to investigate this. For one, you're a nurse about to be investigated. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. A very significant child abuse report is about to become very significant in a, a Pisces life. For one, 
you are a social worker about to get the child abuse um, report made on you. Um, for one, for, okay, so if you're a social worker about to get the child abuse report made on you, you could be work for Child Protective Services because, you know, they do hire social workers. Or you could be a social worker for anybody else to hire a social worker. So how does that resonate? Um, yikes. Um, that's situation one. For one, situation two, you are... Um, you're about to have the child abuse report made on you. And for situation three, you're a nurse about to get a child abuse report made on you. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I feel you can mask or feminine, how that resonates and applies for you, Pisces. Um, whether you're a nurse, a social worker, or just anybody else about to get a child abuse report made on you. It's a very significant child abuse report about to be made on you in the universe, Pisces. You can be a mask or feminine, I'm feeling. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I think that's the fear, worries, and tense situations, the significant child abuse report. Um, for one, it's a daycare about to do this. For one, it's your neighbor. For one, it's a co-worker. Oh, my God. For one, it's a neighbor about to make this significant child abuse report. For one, it's a daycare. And for one, it is a co-worker. So, of course, Child Protective Services, for anybody who doesn't know this, Child Protective Services cannot tell you who makes the report. Just let everybody know. I've had child CPS called on me many times before. They are legally, by law, not allowed to tell you who made the report. And that's just the truth. Um, but whoever this is resonating with, or is about to, it's about to resonate um, for somebody out there, at least three people. It hasn't happened yet. But if you didn't know, and this ends up happening for you, it's, I feel it's either... Whoever this is for, it's either a co-worker about to report your ass, a daycare worker about to report your ass, or um, um, a neighbor. How that resonates and applies, okay? And I think it's going to make you fearful, worried, and create 10 situations here. For one, it's going to create many fast series of chain events. Many. It's going to create heavy legal action. Heavy. Okay, so for one of these situations, it's going to create uh, many fast series of chain of events. Heavy legal action. Um, court situation. Court situation. Court situation. And heavy child protective service involvement. Okay, so for one of you guys, it's going to create series, fast series of chain of events, court involvement, and heavy legal action for one of you guys. There's at least three of you guys about to get child protective service reports on you so um you plug it in how it resonates pisces if that resonates for you i feel you can be masculine or feminine one you're a nurse one you're a social worker one you can be any other occupation or unemployed how that resonates okay Exposure of child sex trafficking and pedophile ring. One, you're exposing it. For one, you're about to be exposed. Okay, I heard it. exposure of child sex trafficking, child sex trafficking ring and child pedophile ring. For one, you're helping expose his child sex trafficking ring and pedophile ring. For one, you're about to be exposed regarding this child sex trafficking ring and child pedophile ring. Only you know which side of karma, karmic wheel you're on on this, whether you were involved in some kind of child sex trafficking ring or child pedophile ring, or is involved in the child sex trafficking ring or child pedophile ring, or you're helping expose it. Only you know which side of the karmic wheel there you're on. So um, the for the ones high vibrational Pisces exposing this child sex trafficking ring and uh, child pedophile ring, I think you're giving other people fear, worries, and tense situations. For the ones that were involved in the child sex trafficking ring, I think you're about to have fear, worries, and tense situations because your ass about to be caught up for dirty deeds, basically. So you plug it in how it resonates, uh, Pisces. Um, only you know which side of that you're on. So only you know your story, not anybody else. But for the ones that were involved in child sex trafficking and child pedophile, child pedophilia, your ass should be exposed. I don't care if you make $5 a year or $5 million, And that's just the damn truth. When you profit off of naked children's bodies and sex trafficking, there's not there's something really mentally wrong up there. And I'm just being for real. I'm just telling you how it is. And that's just the damn truth. 
I don't care how I don't care how much you need money. Do it the right way. If anybody needs to hear that. Phoenix Transmutation. One Pisces is about to completely turn their look around. Okay, well, congratulations, whoever that's for. One of you guys is about to completely transmute your look. So physical transmutation here, aesthetic, physical transmutation of your aesthetic, physical, outer physical appearance, if that resonates for you, uh, Pisces. So physical, external transmutation, physical changing of your whatever you're about to change physically on your body. It could be through surgical procedure or procedures or not. How that resonates and applies. Um, I heard it's going to make you very happy. So uh, absolutely, man. I love it when I change up my look when I can afford it. And that's just the truth. As I think anybody does. So absolutely. And a Pisces feminine is about to find out she's pregnant. It's about to shock the hell out of her. Baby number two, baby number four, baby number five. Holy crap. And a Pisces fem is uh, at least three of you guys or somebody you're connected to is about to find out they're pregnant. I heard baby number two, baby number four, baby number five. And whoever these people are, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, uh, whatever Pisces fems this is for, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, it's about to shock them, so they're not about to realize, uh, they're they're not expecting this, they're not, I mean, they're not trying to get pregnant, whoever these people are. It's either baby number two, baby number four, baby number five, however that resonates and applies in these Pisces fans' lives. Um, however that resonates and applies, whoa, at least three pregnancies in here. Um, maybe they're going to go through a transmutation, um, whoever these people are, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, baby number two, baby number four, baby number five, Pisces fans. Holy crap. <clears throat> A significant lack of medication, drug recount, and recount and recount and recount lack of medication, narcotic medication is about to become very significant in a Pisces career. Oh my lord, you plug it in how it resonates. I heard drug, drug recount, recount, recount. So somebody is about to recount narcotic medication many times. It sounds like at least three, three times. I heard three recounts. So I think it's three recounts is significant here, or at least three. I heard recount, recount, recount. I think three recounts is significant here. Um, it's one of you guys in your career. So you work around narcotic medication in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, however, whatever occupation you are and how that resonates, but it's about to become significant in your career, whoever you are, Pisces. You can be a man or a woman, I'm feeling. At least three drug recounts here. That's a lot of recounting, and that's just the truth. I feel you could be pharmacy, or you could be a nurse, or you could be a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or or anybody else that works around narcotic medication and has license and authority and et cetera, et cetera, to be around it, okay? Um, somehow, I'm intuitively feeling three recounts are significant, because I heard three recounts in the channel messages. Um, I think it's going to make you fear, have fear and worries about this. Um, I heard it's about to impact your career. So I don't, I cannot see how it's going to positively impact your career. If you were the one as responsible for these narcotic medications and somehow three recounts are 
about to occur or at least three recounts are about to occur and the medication is not there if that resonates for you Pisces it is about to go very badly know this and it's it's someone you would have never expected that has betrayed you never expected earth sign energy Okay, I heard it's about to go very badly for your career, and apparently it's somebody that's betraying you with this narcotic medication here, Pisces, that you would have never expected. I heard Earth sign energy, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. They could have Taurus Capricorn Virgo and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Ben Hamid, Jupiter, Charts. Whoever this Earth sign is, I don't think you would have ever expected. It sounds like they're still in medicine. It sounds like they're still in narcotics. It sounds like they're still in narcotics. And I think you're a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or you are, if you're a nurse, you're a charge nurse over the shift. Um, however, that resonates and applies, but somehow you are accountable at the end of the shift or the end of the day or the end of the what have you, what have you for these medications. Whoever you are, Pisces, um, it's an earth sign. Taurus Capricorn Virgo, you do not expect this Taurus Capricorn Virgo to be a narcotic thief or a medication monitor or whatever the hell people call these people. Um, they could be a drug diverter, possibly. A drug diverter or a drug dealer in their town or community. But how that resonates, it is some kind of sneaky earth sign. For some, I feel they could be doing this at night because they're coming in as a raccoon energy. Um, possibly. Maybe if you work the night shift. Night shift is very significant here. Very significant. Okay, that's confirmation. For one, you work the night shift. For one, this earth sign works the night shift. So for one, you work the night shift. And for one, this earth sign works the night shift. So how that resonates and applies. So for one of you guys, you do work the night shift. And it's a sneaky earth sign you don't expect and for one the earth sign works the night shift and i don't feel you work the night shift so you however that resonates but somehow you are responsible for this narcotic medication three recounts are significant here you're about to be fear have fear and worry and it's about to negatively impact your career if this resonates and applies this is really sad man somebody's a medication muncher or a um drug diverter or a pill snatcher or something how that resonates and applies and you are obviously licensed and authorized to be around narcotic narcotic medication and either they are too or they steal your credentials or password or something or badge or something to get in there only you know how this works and not anybody else um because there's different like some places they have fingerprint verification some places they have badge swipes some places they have keys so it really all depends okay only you know your situation and story not anybody else yikes all right let me see if i hear anything else all right i didn't I didn't. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful night. Namaste.